October is winding down, and so is the regular season for most fall sports. Let's get you caught up with this edition of Generals in 60. The Generals football team won its sixth straight game, beating Hampton Sydney 21-17 on Saturday. WNL Field Hockey swept the week with a 5-1 win over Randolph-Macon and a 5-0 victory at Farum. The volleyball team went 1-2 last week, beating Swarthmore in five sets and losing to CNU in Bridgewater. Women's soccer took care of Roanoke at home 2-0 before falling at Virginia Wesleyan 2-1. Men's soccer scored eight second-half goals to best Bridgewater 9-zip and drop a 2-1 match to number 25, CNU. Women's tennis wrapped up its fall season at Lehigh. Caitlin Chalk had the best weekend, going a combined 5-0. WNL riding team competed over in Lynchburg this weekend. They placed third as a team, and Elizabeth Merrick was the reserve high point rider. Both men's and women's swimming took defeats to nationally ranked Carnegie Mellon on Saturday afternoon. First year, Ella Wong finished in a tie for fifth, and the general's women's golf team took sixth at the Golf Week October Classic. Men's golf has players competing at the ODAC preview. Sophomore Turner Edwards is the general's top player after round one. And lastly, former field hockey player Tess Munessis was named the top 30 finalist for the NCAA's Women of the Year for the 2022-23 school year. That wraps up last week. Here's what's going on this week in WNL Athletics as that concludes this edition of Generals in 60.